right, welcome back. We're going to briefly talk about what I call the yaw butts here in Minnesota. Yaw butt, Dr. Jim, you don't understand. I can't do this because of this. Or yaw butt, I can't do this because of that. So we're going to look at a few of these we call yaw butts. And we'll probably look at a few more as we go through some of these smaller training videos and the practical applications of them. But the most important principle you can do when learning something that's brand new is to keep an open mind. Our minds tend to snap back into a reality of what's current, like I can't lift that because of this, without even contemplating that I may be able to do it if I try it a different way, take a new path to try to get to that point, to try to get to that target. So one of the things, you know, is, well, yeah, but, you know, that's a box with handles. I have to lift up my, my kiddo who's, who's five, six, three, my grandkid, that sort of thing. Well, yeah, a kid, a kiddo who's four isn't going to stay still, doesn't have handles, but a child does, right? It's a lifting load and the kiddo's got handles. So instead of bending over like this to pick them up, it's a wide stance like this to lift them up. It's one of those yeah buts. Yeah, but, yeah, but. Yeah, but I have to put my kiddo down in bed. And boy, this kills me. Kills me too. Two herniated discs. I learned that very quickly with my little boys. Oh my gosh, this is killing my back. Here's another little pearl. What you can do <clears throat> is when you're putting someone into, into bed like that, like, like a, a child, is to put your knee up on the bed. So pretend this is a bed here. This is very low, right? The bed is in front of me. I'll actually turn this way. This will hurt my back like crazy, but what I can simply do is put my knee up on the bed, set them down in the bed. Now I'm in this wide stance, and I'm going to show you this in just a minute. Child goes here, try to keep it in between my knees as best I can, get back up, and I what? Tie into it, come back down. Takes the lifting load off of your back. When you have to be on the ground, like gardening for example, that for a lot of people is really a back killer because you're down here and you're doing this. You're not lifting a lot, but it's this forward leaning, right? It's the repetitive nature. So what you can do is several things. One is wide stance. This is a wide stance. Scoot down and keep everything in between you. Another thing you can do is you can keep this narrow stance if you need to, but what? Tie into it, tie into the ground and then use your hand to garden. The other one, and simply kneel it and do this sort of thing. We're going to talk some about car tires, like, gosh, Dr. Jim, I had a flat tire, and this, these techniques don't work with that. Well, they actually do. If picture the car here, I've got it jacked up, I can get to a wide stance, wide stance, scoot my butt down, and I can use my legs and my rear end to lift this tire up and put it on. I can get in this knee position, again, to muscle that thing around to pull it off. I've got more control than this position. If you've got someone who you're training with with these videos, <clears throat> try this. Have them go on their knees with you. Put your knees in this position, this narrow position. It's just like the feet shoulders is apart. Put your hands here. Have them grab on and push down. You're going to feel yourself tip right over. You're also going to feel your back working. Now, wide stance. Drop your butt a little bit. Have them grab on and push straight down again, and you're going to feel the work in your legs and rear end. You're going to feel so much stronger, and you take all that lifting load off of your back. So those are just a few of the yeah, but objections that we've just handled, and there are lots of them. So as we continue on with this training, you'll see some ancillary videos below on some quick modules on how to lift various things in your normal everyday, everyday life. You can also check out the YouTube page where we're constantly adding new content based upon our feedback, meaning in our personal lives, the things that we experience in our lives, but also feedback from you. So whether it be in the Facebook page, through an email, through um, the YouTube site, let us know what things that you're having challenges with and we'll constantly update our information.